hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to show you guys how to make this delicious cassava leaf with chicken recipe to make this recipe you are going to be needing one chopped onion and i have half a bell pepper chopped up you need one habanero pepper and I chopped up about five Roma tomatoes. I have three tablespoons of Mahitian a piece, that green seasoning. If you don't know how to make that green seasoning, go ahead and check the card that just came up to take you to that video. And you need some olive oil, some garlic powder, and I have some crushed red pepper for a little more heat. And I have some onion powder, some dried thyme leaves, and you will need some palm oil. And I have a whole chicken that I chopped up. I cleaned my chicken with some lime. This is what it looked like. And this is the cassava leaf. They were frozen. I have a one pound and a two pound and a one pound bag. Like I said, they were frozen. I let them on top. And you will need about four cups of water and of course salt and pepper to taste. Don't forget to check the description box where I will list everything I used in this video. So let's get cooking guys. We are going to start by seasoning the meat. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Of course, the amount of salt you put depends on your own tasting, but do not over salt your food, guys. And I am going to put about one um, tablespoon of garlic powder. In total, I might use two tablespoons because when the chicken is going to brown, I'm going to add some more. And then this is the onion powder, same amount, and about one teaspoon of that dry thyme. I'm only using one teaspoon because my Haitian A piece does have some thyme on it too. Just like that. And don't put that, um, that crushed red pepper yet. And I am going to put in that A piece. At this point, you want to make sure you're hands are very very clean because we're going to go in and massage all that into the chicken and once i do that i'm going to allow it to marinate for about 30 minutes just so some of that flavor can get in the chicken before we start cooking the cassava leaf if this is your first time visiting this channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel click that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload I know it's been a while, you guys. You guys know I've been so busy with kids' sports. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I love you guys. And thank you to all who reach out to me via social media platform just to check on us. We're doing okay. We've just been so busy. Hopefully, I'll have a little more time when school opens back up. But thank you so much, guys. So, again, I'm just really getting all that seasoning in there before I cover it and put it into the fridge. Next, you wanna take a nice heavy pot and turn your stove to medium high and put about half a cup or a little over half a cup of olive oil to the pot. And we are going to take our onions, put them in there, and we are going to cook these until they are nice and soft before I add the tomatoes and the peppers. So cook it for about two minutes until they are nice and soft. I love to release the flavor of the onions before I add anything else to my pot. Now you want to go ahead and add the pepper and the tomatoes. And of course we are going to cook this for about five minutes until the, the tomatoes are broken down. I'm not sure if I said potatoes earlier, but tomatoes. We wanna break down the tomatoes, okay? So cook them for about five minutes. All right, so now I am going to add more garlic powder about another tablespoon and more onion powder and just a little bit of thyme, not much. 
okay and I forgot to tell you guys I am going to use a little chicken bouillon on this if you want that don't like to use um, chicken bouillon or Maggi cube you can definitely skip that it does not make a big difference just stick to the salt and I am going to use a little bit of sour orange juice in this recipe just because I just think it will help the meat so about one tablespoon and mix everything and now I am going to let it continue cooking until the tomatoes are completely broken down I am going to cover it for this step and of course taste to make sure it is nicely seasoned okay as you can see everything is looking nice and delicious already so cover it until everything is broken down as you can see now that tomatoes are soft enough to where I can take my wooden spoon and push down and they completely mash okay so just like that if you find a piece that's not ready so just use your spoon your wooden spoon to mash everything up and it's getting ready for us to invite the chicken to the party so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the chicken and invite the chicken to the party go ahead and just dump that chicken in there I might have too much chicken this is a whole chicken I cut up so I'll just save this part maybe I'll just use that on my air fryer let me wash my hands real quick I might just use the rest of the chicken in my air fryer just for a little side meal later mix everything in and now we are going to let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes with a lid on the pot at this point you want to make sure this have um, good seasoning and mine does but just to double check going to taste one more time delicious and of course the chicken is not fully cooked which is okay because we are going to finish cooking it when the cassava leaf are being cooked and cassava leaf you guys is very it's really hard um, it takes a while for it to cook it's not like spinach that's done in no time um, I grabbed that one pound bag I had that one in my fridge for a while I actually thought it was um, the two pound bag that I had so I kind of wished I wish I grabbed another I wish I grabbed two two pound bags I had to think there for a little bit <laughs> So I'm going to just scrape some of the leftovers don't want to waste anything just like that put that to the side and just mix it in again this is a hard leaf so it's going to take time for it to cook okay looks good already and now I'm going to add about two cups of water yep that was four cups so I have two cups in there left and I am going to cover it make sure it's covered nice and tight and I'm going to let this cook for about 30 minutes but every 10 minutes I'm going to come back and stir it just to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of my pot it's been about 15 minutes let's see what's going on stir it and of course you're going to have some of the liquid just popping just so just be careful and I am going to put my jalapeno or habanero you could put a jalapeno if you want it I am going to put just a little bit of this pepper because I don't want it to be super spicy just like that 
and I am going to cover it back up and let it continue cooking. I put my um, habanero in now because I don't want it to get too soft and for it to um, break in that stew because I don't want it to be too spicy, okay? So I'm going to allow it to continue to cook for another 15 minutes before I put in that palm oil. All right, guys, hope you guys can see. I know there's a lot of steam. So now it's time for me to add that palm oil. That's what's going to give it a nice, beautiful color. Okay, about a fourth cup or maybe five tablespoons. Five tablespoons so it can give it that color. You see that? Instantly give it that nice red color. And I am just going to let it cook for another five minutes and it should be done. Um, I have some white rice I'll be eating with this so I can't wait to eat. Looks so good. Again, turn down the heat this time and just cover it for about five minutes so that palm oil can cook also and we should be ready to eat. All right guys, everything is done. I went ahead and grabbed some white rice. I am going to take a piece. Oh, it smells so good in here. I love cassava leaf or some call it pondu. That's the African way of saying it. You guys know I love going to Africa. All right. You can see, and now I am going to give a taste. It's so good. You can see the palm oil, even though it's red, it still have like a green, you still have that green color from the cassava leaf. And I told you guys the leaf can be kind of tough, so you have to make sure it's cooked properly. It's almost like lalo. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I know some of you might be wondering, this is what the label look like. You know, I use two different brands, so each label look a little different, but this is what it look like, okay? Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, guys. All link will be in the description box. But it is time for me to go enjoy this delicious meal. I hope you guys try it. And if you do try it, make sure you let me know what you think. And you can find the cassava leaf in your local Asian market or African market. Um, like I said, if you try it, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel again. Comment, let me know what you think. Like the video and share the video with your loved one. That would mean the world to me. I love you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.